Hello, my name's David Richards and here we have a simulation or emulation of a, an old digital PDP-8i in front of a real PDP-8F. Now, I've been using this PDP-8i simulation to learn how these devices actually work with the hope to bring this one fully back into life. Um, haven't got very far just yet, but if you look at the, the front panel here, we can see we've got some address loading capability. And sometimes we can actually attempt to run a program, but it doesn't actually work. So a bit more learning to do here. And I'll be using this PDP-8i again. Now, what, this is a, an I.O. expansion board onto a Raspberry Pi, which is emulating a complete PDP-8i with disk and tape drives. And it's talking down a, a serial link to a, a, a serial monitor. This could equ equally well be a, a teletype machine. That was the idea of using this uh, low board rate even parity, but as you can see, it's, it's actually completely functional. <laughs> the directory listing of, of the tape drive there, of the hard drive, I beg your pardon. But, uh, that's about as far as we've got. <laughs> I bought the kit for this PDP 8i online. Uh, I'll put a link to the location in the description to the video here. What, what, what I found it especially useful for is, is learning how the PDP systems work before coming here to try, try my hand at getting this real system to work. It, it, the 8i is very similar in a lot of ways to the, the 8f. The, the, the 8f display on the console is, is slightly different, but the, the concepts are the same. It, it, it's as well as getting to learn the hardware, it's useful to learn the operating system as well. So I've, there's a C compiler and editor, various tools, all, all on the, on the disk preloaded. Here you can see the basic console operation with the PDP-8i. You can set the, memory address and data using these buttons here. On this console a 1 is down so if I now stop the processor running and I can all the address buttons are off and I load that address, that, the address will be transferred up into this program counter memory address field, so load address there. I've set, set it all to zero on the instruction, the, the extended memory addresses. There we go. Now, if you want to examine the memory, you can preload address, so I've just preloaded the zero address, and then every time you press the examine button, it will increment, it will show the contents of the data and increment the address to the next address. So off we go, there we go. So here we've got address 1, data content 0. And as you keep addressing, off it goes. And then if you wanted to run a program, you'd, you'd need to know its start address, set it up in here. So if, for instance, I was to put 7 that's up till 7, a 4, a 2 and a 1, 7, 7, 5, 4 and a 1, and 6 is 4 and a 2. If I load that address, stop the processor, load the address, so 7, 7, 6, 5, 6. And then to run the program, you press the start button. And off it goes doing stuff. 
the address I put in just then was the the rim loader address, but it isn't actually programmed in at this instant. The system's just booted now, and in this configuration, it's it's booted off the hard disk simulation. So here you can say PDP-8i configuration and some brief instructions, DIR to look, to give you a listing of the system disk or DIR sys. So let's try that. DIR S Y S. See what happens. Nothing. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Because I missed the colour off the end. So these are system utilities. We've got basic, Fortran, focal, some editors, and Kermit, I believe. And on the user drive, you've got some test programs. This is a Presto monitor, and I, I, I've formatted some data to show text in the native Presto format, ah, which is P -E -S. It's not very impressive, but it's, it's 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 a few lines of text. Took me a week to get that working. 